colored in red as pennies in the spring, announced by the song of gullet birds and the sound of the sea waves in the summer, spreading its beautiful fields in autumn and comfortably cuddled in her white coat in the winter. Kvarna municipality is one of the places in Bulgaria that you must visit. Located only 50 kilometers from the sea capital Varna in the north, you can enjoy your summer vacation enriched with the legends and myths connected with this place. Visit museums, churches and landmarks that fill not only the eyes but also the souls. One of the symbols of Kavarna, situated only three kilometers from the town in south direction, is Cape Chirakman, where the ancient town of Kavarna was first located. On the flat and almost inaccessible Chirakmas plateau for decades has been boiling intensive life. In its first century, a powerful earthquake split the cape and much of it sank into the sea. Here you can see the restored fortress wall, which was protecting the local Asian inhabitants from the rates of the barbarians. 12 kilometers away from the town of Kavarna lies the natural and archaeological reserve Kaliakra, covering nearly 700 acres of wild steppes ending with steep purple rocks up to 70 meters high. The reserve is open to visitors all year round and during the summer season you can also take advantage of the guided tours to get to know the rich history of this place. Here you'll hear some interesting mystical stories telling you about love and self-sacrifice. About 6 kilometers northeast of Cape Kaliakra is the unique Talikman Bay. It's a lovely place with small beaches, terraced slopes, plenty of warm mineral water and many rocky islands scattered around the coast. Talikman translated means Bird Bay. The name did not occur accidentally as here every spring stop the rest flocks of thousands of gulls, geese, little stints, Kentish plovers and many other bird species. Continuing to the north, you will reach the fairy place of the Kavarna coast, Bolata Bay. Preserved its appearance over the years, this place generously offers the opportunity for tourists both for pleasant sunbathing and fishing. Since 2013, Bolata is included in the list of the 100 most beautiful bays in the world, the only reserve in Bulgaria including in it equatory sea area and surrounding rocks and a small river. You can reach the bay by car following the exit from the road between the nearby village of Bolgarevo and Cape Kaliakra. If you continue north, you will reach Yailata, declared an archaeological reserve in the 1980s. Here you will find the cave town, early Byzantine fortress, sanctuaries, sacrificial stones, tombs and others. In the spring, the whole seaside of Yailata is dyed with penny colors. Hundreds of bird species pass through it on their way to Africa, thanks to Via Pontica, the second largest bird migration route in Europe. The guests of Kavarna municipality can also immerse themselves in the rich culture of this place and visit a number of museums, churches and archaeological sites. The town museum in Kavarna has an exhibition of the most attractive finds in the region, photographs, old books, weapons, drawings and a huge amount of finds from the excavations of the many sites around Kavarna. The ethnographic complex in the town is built on the site of the first Bulgarian school here. It consists of a house museum, a rebuilt slipper workshop, a lace workshop and a yard. Visitor is introduced to the most typical parts of the city life from the end of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century reflecting the most characteristic traits of the main groups of the population in this region. Wonder how exactly the Turkish baths looked like in the Middle Ages? You can find out by visiting the fully restored Hammam bath in Kavarna. Together with old fountains, it's a unique 15th century architectural ensemble. The legend in this place tells how a Turkish pasha stole a Bulgarian girl and how she managed to escape from his harem. Later, when she was captured, her and her loved one were burned alive in the boiler room at the Turkish bath. In the building of Hamama, you can also so visit the Maritime Museum, where you can see the exhibition Dobroja and the Sea. 
Six of the old warehouses in the port of Kavarna are declared architectural monuments of culture from the Renaissance. The complex is built by solid pieces of stone blocks, some of which are taken from the fortress of Cape Chirakman. Here you can stroll along the narrow cobblestone streets that have preserved their Renaissance spirit up to this date. Since 2018, Kavarna hosts the only one in Bulgaria and sixth in the world, Vodka Museum. Over 700 different vodka bottles can be found here, including Don Quixote, made of Skinner's rhinoceros. The most valuable historical exhibit here is French vodka from 1860 in a bottle of Limagus porcelain. Throughout the summer season, Kavarna municipality offers a rich entertainment and cultural program. Dozens of classical and modern music concerts, exhibitions and festivals would not let you get bored during the warm summer evenings. The village of Kamenbrak offers its jazz evenings under the open sky and also a photo workshop. The village of Bolgarevo celebrates in August the Melon Festival. In 2017, near the village of Topola was built an aqua park, a favorite place for both children and parents ready to indulge in water entertainment. It's situated over one of the most beautiful bays and offers a unique view of the Black Sea. Golf fans can take advantage of the incredible conditions of the resort located around Kavarna. Here is one of the most beautifully shaped golf courses in the world stretching near the jagged rocks. A breathtaking view of the Black Sea. Of course, do not miss to enjoy the warm sunshine on the beach in Kavarna which attracts hundreds of tourists every summer. And if you're a fisherman, Kavarna is the right place for you. Just stare at the blue and see the dozens of boats around the rocky coast.